He says that that, that stuff that you, that you used to do wasn't all that bad. I mean, you, you really did have some good times back then, didn't you? You just went too far. You can do some of that stuff again. And, and it starts sounding good to you. And you start agreeing with Satan, saying, yeah, I, I, I know that God delivered me from a life of drugs. But I was smoking crack back then. I'm just going to smoke a little weed this time. And help me, somebody. Or, or you say, I, I know I was a hopeless drunk when Jesus saved me. But I was drinking Jack Daniels back at that time. I, I, I'm just going to drink some wine coolers or, or a little beer from now on. Or you say, I, I know I almost lost my, my family when I was laying up with Billy Bob or Susie Bell. Uh, but I'm not going to sleep with her this time. I'm just going over there and have dinner. And that's all. But before you know it, you're going to find yourself in trouble again. You're going to find yourself pregnant again. You'll find yourself strung out again. You'll find yourself in jail again. You'll find yourself without hope again. But all you have to do is just call on the Lord again and repent of your sins again and ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and then just hold on because help is on the way. The next person I want to tell you about is Wimpy. Y'all remember Wimpy, don't you? I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. You see, Wimpy was the negotiator. He always wanted to eat first, and then he would pay for it later. In other words, he wanted something for nothing. And you know what I found out? There are a lot of wimpies in the church, too. They're always trying to make a deal with God. They want God to bless them first. And then they might do what he wants them to do. I, I can hear them now. Lord, I'll gladly become a tither if you would just let me win the lottery. Or oh, Lord, I'll start going to church every Sunday if you would just get me out of this mess I'm in. Oh, come on now. Y'all Y'all know we got some wimpies in here. They're the ones that are always praying those, I ain't going to do it no more prayers. You know the kind of prayers I'm talking about. The I ain't going to do it no more prayers. I, I, I'm talking about the time that, 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 that you drank too much and you got sick as a dog. So you called on the Lord and you said, Lord, if you just get me over this drunk, I promise I ain't going to never drink no more. I'm talking about the time that you were out partying and getting high and you spent your rent money or you couldn't pay your car note. So you called on God and said, Lord, if you will just help me out this time, I promise I ain't going to never do it no more. I'm talking about the time that you stayed out all night and you were scared to go home because you didn't know if you still had a home. So you called on God and said, Lord, if you would just get me out of this mess, I promise I ain't never going to do it no more. Y'all know what I'm talking about, wimpy. The finally, and finally, that was Sweet Pea. Little Sweet Pea. You know, when I used to watch Popeye, Sweet Pea was a little baby, crawling around, drinking his milk from a bottle, saying goo goo and ga ga, and getting into all kinds of trouble because he didn't know any better. And that was almost 50 years ago. Y'all know what I found out? Now, I, I told you I watched Popeye last week. And I found out that Sweet Pea is still a little baby. He's still crawling around. He's still drinking his milk from a bottle. He's still saying goo goo and ga ga 
and he's still getting into all kinds of trouble because he still doesn't know any better. 50 years later. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And we got some sweet peas in the church too. Some of them have been saved for 20, 30, 40 years or more. And they are still babes in Christ. They are sweet peas. They have not grown. They are sweet peas. They don't go to Bible study. They don't go to prayer meeting. They don't attend revivals. They never fast. And they do not pray. And they keep making the same mistakes and getting into trouble because they still don't know any better. They are still sweet peas. Reverend Burton Barr Jr., author of He's Only a Prayer Away, Nine Examples of Praying Until Your Breakthrough, Amazing Grace, The Storm is Passing Over, and The Hoodlum Preacher. Books in stores now. For more information, visit cobaltbooks.com and thehoodlumpreacher.com.